Yeah, it's the return of Team Average, and that means I get to sit this one out, and we get the opinions of three different uh, golfers. We've got Jay, we've got Dan, and we've got John Tinkler, and uh, we're going to start off with Jay. They're going to, we're looking at, I should start with that, shouldn't I? It's one of the, what I think has been the greatest releases of 2021. It is the Ping G4 25 7 Wood. I think this thing is fantastic, and I think it suits a large number of average golfers that probably would have normally ignored a seven wood, but we're gonna see how it compares up against their equivalent clubs in the bag. I think each of them is a hybrid. And we'll start off with Jay. He'll start to collect numbers with his own club, then with a seven wood, and then he'll give you his opinion and we'll move on down the line. It's really easy to hit, isn't it? Yeah. Really easy. Like I said, even, even bad swings still go well. How did it visibly launch? What was seven on mine? I thought it would have launched a lot higher than it yeah. did, but it doesn't. It no. It's very similar to, yeah. um, to my three hybrid. Do you notice any difference with the shaft length moving to the hybrid, Jay? Um, I don't massively, but to be honest, it actually feels my, like mine's a little bit longer. Yeah. Even though it's <laughs> not. That's it, weird, it, that, it, isn't it? Physically, like when I stand over it, it feels longer, but then when I compare them, it's about an inch, I think. Yeah, the other one's longer. Um, maybe that's to do with the shape of the head. What, what, do you, what, what, would you, what would you prefer having the two at a dress? Which would you prefer? And is there any one that gives you any more confidence to the other? Or what kind? Because of, they're massively different. I mean, I think yeah, the G425 is quite big yeah, in terms of Yeah, I mean, the, looking at them, I would probably say the 7 wood looks more friendly to hit. Mm. But it has got a shallower face than mine. Right. Mine's quite a bit deeper. Yeah, it sits low, doesn't it, the yeah. G425? But it's really easy to swing, mm. really easy to hit, launches well and gets good carry out of it. So, And like I said, the, in, the shaft difference is slightly longer in the 7 wood. Yeah. But when I stand over it, mine feels longer. Yeah. I think that might be because of the size of the head. The head, yeah. yeah it's it the balance kind of thing. Yeah. throws your eyes off a little mm. bit. There we go. That's so, how you did it, isn't it? Sounded good. That was brilliant, that one. Straight as narrow. Any nice. launch difference between the two? Yeah, that got up really high really quick then. Yeah. Um, flew really well, straight. Like I said, I've just got to, I've just got to change my delivery with the club to something that um, is a little bit shallower on the way in compared to my hybrid. But like I said, that's something I've not really tried. So putting it into a, a situation where I can test it a bit more is definitely better out here. Uh, looks really nice, uh, nice matte finish on the top, uh, sits quite low to the floor and a little bit stretched back. Um, looks like it presents quite a lot of loft on the face when you look at it, um, but it looks like it's going to inspire a bit of confidence, make it feel nice and easy to hit. The sound of it, I was expecting um, to be a little bit louder, um, but it actually feels really solid when you hit it. And when I tested it, I did hit it from like various points on the face, not intentionally, but obviously average golfer and uh, you can actually feel it quite well where you're striking it from and I was able to tell um, the tester where we were hitting it from low in the face like off the toe and things like that so feel feedback from it's really good uh, so the performance of it I was expecting it to fly quite high um, and probably be a little bit shorter than my hybrid when in reality they launched probably a little bit lower than my hybrid and it flew probably five ten yards longer I would say um, so I've really actually outperformed my three hybrid, which is 19 degrees. So mine was a little bit stronger lofted than it. Um, so I couldn't really fault it in any way. And the actual consistency of distances when I hit it off various points off the face was like bang on. It was like pretty much the same all the time. So I'm really happy with that. The price point's quite expensive, um, but I guess that's the way things are going at the minute. If you look at the R&D that goes into them and the technology and, and the materials they're made from, cost relative I suppose it depends what it means to you um, I wouldn't really want to spend that amount of money on a club um, that I potentially don't use that often but if it's something you use more often than a three wood or something then it's it's comparable in it and probably worth it at that point yeah overall I would say it surprised me um, it performed a lot better than I thought it would uh, the ball flight was a lot better and I could actually manipulate it a little bit as well I hit some lower ones and then I put a bit more loft on it and and sent it a little bit higher as well. Um, so all in all, really good club, definitely worth trying out.
So next up it's Dan and he's using a G410 uh, 3 hybrid currently. He'll collect some numbers on that and then move on to the 7 wood. Yeah, it's, um, it pretty much is like my hybrid, just a bit higher flighted. Right. It's very easy to hit off the deck, isn't it? Yeah. It feels nice off the face, though. It's swinging well, to be fair, man. Yeah, it's a bit, a little bit of ground before ball there, but it's still gone out there, isn't it? Yeah, it picks up nice out of that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that launch is a bit higher than my. Uh, would you play from that kind of line? You said. Yeah, my hybrid. I play from. That's exactly what I would play from that line. Yeah. Especially if I still had sort of a long iron in, if you know what I mean. Difference that definitely picks up out the grass better yeah um, and I love this club and that it does inspire a bit more confidence down at the ball if I'm honest yeah. I didn't think it would I didn't think the bigger head would make a difference but it, it really does I mean yeah now I can see it that does that does yep yeah, almost this almost now feels harder to hit See that? That's the danger with this then. Doesn't if you don't quite catch it, it doesn't quite come out as well. So yeah, it's doing exactly what it's meant to do, isn't it? Uh, to be honest, I quite like a, the look of a ping. If I'm honest, I, I quite like they've lost the turbulators. I think that that is better down at the, down at the ball and shelf appeal. To be honest, down at the ball, it was like I said before, it just inspired confidence. I didn't think it would but it did, certainly better than, uh, it just looked easier to hit than my hybrid, if I'm honest. Again, I've got nothing against the sound and feel of a ping. I play ping driver, in fact, I play ping most of the way through the bag, apart from the wedges. Um, that one, probably a little bit better than, in fact, it feels like my, my G42 driver I've just gone into. It, I, I quite like it, it's a nice noise, nice feel. I don't understand um, these people who don't get on with the sound, if I'm honest. Uh, Ron Seal, really, exactly what it says on the tin. Uh, thought it was going to launch higher, it did. Thought it was going to descend uh, sort of softer, if you like, a little steeper, so it would grab the greens, and it did, exactly that. Um, we tried to match lofts, didn't we, in my hybrid, and it's going about the same distance. It's literally just different flight, yeah. It sits exactly where everything else in and around it sits, doesn't it? I don't think um, I don't think it's overly expensive for what you're getting. If you like, um, it's a nice piece of tech. I think Ping do I think Ping do that very well. Actually, um, they seem to put a lot more effort than the other companies into the fairway woods. I feel, um, you know, the, like the likes of the bigger boys tend to focus on the driver and then just make a fairway wood as well. But they definitely seem to be trying to um, make something a little bit more specific to that thing, if, if, yeah, yeah. if you know what I mean, yeah. And, and, I, I, I didn't think, coming in, I didn't think I would ever feel like there was a need for it in my game. Um, having hit it and been nicely surprised by it, I would possibly look at maybe lowering the loft of my hybrid and taking the four iron out and then putting a seven wood in between that hybrid and my, say, three and five, three wood, yeah. I, I, yeah, I think I would, yeah. Yeah. Last but not least, it's on to John Tinkler and he's going to use his TS2 hybrid as his comparable product. Let's see how John gets on. Nice. Seemed it. He's getting that one. Yeah. It was a nice looking club. It sat well at the ground. The alignment aid at the, um, on the top is a lot better than the old variety. Um, seems to be quite a lot of the back end of the club, um, which is a bit distracting, but uh, I'm not usually a 
a multiple wood player. I'm more of a hybrid man. Difficult to do, uh, to make too much comment about the sound because on an indoor, uh, in an indoor setting, it does tend to uh, echo somewhat. But it did sound quite loud. I have to say, not as loud as the driver, but certainly loud. Uh, and if that puts you off and affects your feel, then it's not going to be for you. Uh, when you look at the um, at the hybrid against it, uh, quite a pingy noise off the Titleist hybrid, to be honest. Um, but the the feel of both of them was fairly similar. When you took them in the middle, they came off quite clean. Yeah, I, I've, I found it quite strange. I realised that it went high for a reason and that the spin is obviously the reason why it goes high. But it, it, it sort of peaked and dropped. Uh, there was, if, if you're wanting to, this to run, you're going to have to manufacture a different type of shot with it. Um, it's, it it's equivalent uh, to the hybrid, but I, I for my uh, reasons of being able to get it higher and lower and, and manipulate the club, I, I more, I'd say, of a hybrid uh, preference. Um, the the ping, it was a nice enough club. It went, but it it went too high for my taste. Oh, what did you, did you notice anything in terms of the length of the shaft, which was probably a couple of inches different, really? As you as you could see there, though they're not quite on uh, level ground. There's about two and a half, maybe three inches worth of extra shaft on the seven wood. Um, it didn't. It didn't feel any different at all. To be honest, at address, you just naturally uh, set up. Um, I, but I didn't feel it. It impacted anyway, either on the test or the data that we got back. Particularly, the interesting thing is that they're virtually the same loft on them, uh, and the difference was hugely in the spin. It's it's, it's pricey uh, for what it is uh, at that. At that sort of level, I'd be looking at all the other options in the marketplace to see whether or not uh, this was the one for you. I mean, get, don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a nice club and it's a good club, but uh, by and large, they, try to, they, they come with their own shaft. Um, so whether or not there's enough uh, leeway for people to go from extra stiff down to uh, seniors soft flex uh, is a moot point. It is expensive. Um, it's in this it's in the price level with uh, with the title list and the top end of the tailor maids so you, you have to be prepared to pay that for it but if you like it then then it's fine uh, but I, it, it's not for me I would stay with a hybrid at that level on the 20 degrees Right, so in terms of summary, I think it's a fairly fairly quick one from my perspective. And I think the first thing it shows is that uh, everybody must try clubs for themselves. Because I think there was a, quite a difference, certainly between John's numbers and Dan's, for example. I think Dan, it was a real good club for him. Launched far higher than his hybrid, carrying the same sort of distances. Spin number was about the same. Jay, his three hybrid and the seven wood were probably very similar in many ways. Slight yardage difference and some... Quicker ball speeds came off of the seven wood, but again, that would be dependent on what you're looking for from the club. I think again, both Dan and Jay were really keen out of the uh, the rough that we played outside, felt it launched really high, and perhaps very positive towards that kind of play. And like I said, John, probably better suited to his hybrid that he currently had in the bag. And again, an horrendous spin number that he was achieving, or difference in spin number between the two. And again, goes back to that custom fit, and you must find probably uh, a better suited shaft in there for John and a little bit more time required to get that set up for him. But the message is, and I like the way this testing is panning out, three different golfers all uh, attack the ball slightly differently, different swings all together, and it just shows as ever there's no one club fits all. But I think overall, perhaps certainly two to one at least, we're very positive towards the uh, seven wood. But the important thing is, like I said, you get out there and give it a go. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us some feedback if you like what we did in terms of uh, this team average. We're going to continue with it, but always up open to your opinion on uh, ways in which you'd like to see us uh, do things moving forward. If you've got some ideas, then stick them in that comments down below. Right, that's me done. Having it a golf ball again this week, so uh, I'll see you all soon.